We marvel at the vastness of the universe, but what about the opposite extreme? How small can things get? Physics tells us there's a fundamental boundary, the Planck length. This is the shortest possible length, where the very idea of space breaks down. Unlike cutting a string in half forever, nature sets a hard limit. The Planck length isn't just a technological barrier, it's woven into the fabric of reality. Below this scale, the smoothness of space dissolves into quantum uncertainty. Here, our best theories, relativity and quantum mechanics, collide. Is the universe continuous or made of indivisible pieces? If reality is grainy, the world we see is just an illusion, a high-res image made of countless tiny dots. This smallest unit shapes everything, from black holes to the Big Bang. The Planck length is more than a number. It's a gateway to the universe's deepest secrets. It challenges us to rethink what space and reality truly are. To grasp how tiny the Planck length is, let's compare. Start with an atom, already unimaginably small. If you could hold an atom, it would seem as vast as the universe does to us. Inside, the nucleus is a hundred thousand times smaller than the atom. But even that is enormous compared to the Planck length. The gap between a nucleus and the Planck length dwarfs the gap between the nucleus and you. Imagine a grain of sand scaled up to the size of the universe. The Planck length would be the size of the original grain. The Planck length is as small to a grain of sand as a grain of sand is to the universe. Its value. 1.6 x 10 circumflex 35 meters. A decimal point, 34 zeros, then 16. This isn't just another small measurement. It's the universe's fundamental pixel. Nothing can be smaller. No event, particle, or wave. It's the ultimate resolution of reality. At this scale, the universe is built from indivisible frames. The Planck length isn't arbitrary. It emerges from nature's deepest laws. It's defined by three constants, the speed of light, C, the gravitational constant, G, and Planck's constant, H. The speed of light sets the cosmic speed limit and binds space and time. The gravitational constant shapes the universe's structure and the force of gravity. Planck's constant governs the quantum world, where energy comes in discrete packets. When Max Planck combined these, he found a unique, fundamental unit of length. The Planck length marks where relativity and quantum mechanics meet. Try to probe smaller, and you'd need so much energy, you'd create a black hole. It's the point where looking closer becomes impossible. This limit is a result of the universe's deepest tension energy, gravity, and quantum uncertainty. The Planck length is the wall where our current understanding ends. It's the meeting point of the universe's most powerful forces. What if we could zoom into the Planck scale? Space would become a chaotic quantum foam, bubbling with energy and fleeting particles. At this level, space-time isn't smooth. It's turbulent and unpredictable. Some physicists think the universe is digital, built from Planck-length pixels. Reality, then, has a finite resolution. No half-pixels, no smaller distances. The universe could be a vast computer, with physics as software and Planck units as hardware. Every event is a computation, every position a bit of information. This connects physics to information theory. Maybe reality is built from information, not matter. A pixelated universe avoids the infinities of current theories. No true singularities, just a built-in cutoff. While unproven, this idea elegantly explains why the world seems smooth but is fundamentally digital. The analog world we see may be an illusion, built from countless Planck scale components. At the smallest scale, the universe is a cosmic mosaic. The Planck length is crucial in black holes, the universe's most extreme objects. Black holes form when matter collapses into a tiny space, creating immense gravity. At the center, relativity predicts a singularity, infinite density, zero volume. But many physicists think true singularities don't exist. The Planck length sets a limit. Matter can't be squeezed smaller. Quantum gravity would resist collapse, preventing an infinite point. The singularity may be a super-dense nugget, Planck length in size. Black holes act as cosmic microscopes, probing the Planck scale. The information paradox, what happens to information in a black hole, may be solved by the Planck area. The event horizon could encode information, each bit occupying a square Planck length. This is the holographic principle. Our 3D reality might be a projection from a 2D surface. Black holes push our understanding to the Planck frontier. Can we ever observe the Planck length directly? Not with current technology. Probing this scale would require unimaginable energy, enough to create a black hole. Nature hides its deepest secrets behind an unbreakable wall. 
Scientists search for indirect evidence like tiny delays in light from distant cosmic explosions. If space-time is grainy, high-energy photons might arrive slightly later than low-energy ones. So far, no such effect has been found. Another clue may lie in the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. Quantum fluctuations at the Planck scale may have seeded the universe's structure. By studying ancient light, we might glimpse the physics of the universe's first instant. For now, the Planck length is a theoretical frontier, our greatest challenge and deepest mystery. Unlocking its secrets could unite gravity and quantum mechanics in a theory of everything. The Planck length reminds us, reality's true nature may be far stranger than we imagine.